Hello Weekend Crafter! Welcome or welcome back to the Craft Time Studio. I'm Ange and for today, I'm sharing with you how I use canes in my floral slabs. So first of all, what are canes? A polymer clay cane is a log of clay that has a design that runs through the entire log. As you slice the log, an identical design is revealed. I bought pre-made canes from a local maker. You can check her IG account at Purple Luggage. She makes amazing flower and petal canes with a lot of detail. Here are some of the canes that I purchased from her. They came wrapped individually in plastic so that they don't stick to each other. And if you store them correctly, they can last for a very long time. I know how to make basic canes, but I also appreciate that there are a lot of makers out there who are experts in caning. For the purpose of this video, I will show you how I make simple leaf canes. To make this, you will need an extruder, a tissue blade, and a manual roller. First condition a bit of green clay. Use a teardrop shaped plate and pass the clay through the extruder. Cut this up into equal lengths. Cut this into the width of the log. This will be the vein of the leaf. Then, get another log and sandwich the vein. Pinch both ends so that you get the leaf shape. And there you have it, some simple leaf canes. Now that we've done our leaf canes, we can begin working on our floral slab. As we are doing a very busy print on this slab, I decided to stick to white as my main color for the slab. I normally roll out my slabs into the number 4 setting, especially if I'm layering something on top of it. I want to make my slabs thin so that it's not too heavy on the ears. I start by putting the petals first, and then I put the stems, leaves, and other accents to fill the slab. Now, if you're thinking that if you used pre-made canes, you won't be able to express your originality, I can tell you that you can definitely come up with different looking slabs. I know I have. And it's a lot of fun to work with pre-made canes because you can make different kinds of combinations without spending too much time. As you can see, I used my detail needle to press the petals down. You have to make sure that all your pieces are secured to the slab.
And now my floral slab is done. I want to show you a few of the earrings that I made. After I cut the earrings, I brushed the petals with a bit of mica to add some shine. Mica is best applied to unbaked clay because it sticks better to it. I hope that this inspires you to make some unique slabs using canes. If you have other questions, do let me know. Thank you for watching and if you haven't yet, do consider liking and subscribing to the Craft Time Studio. Have a crafty weekend! Bye!